Okay, welcome back to one more episode of Urban Green Bee. It is actually September 23rd, uh, 2011. And I wanted to show you um, some feeders that I made from some two gallon buckets. So you can see here my buckets and I poke some holes in the top. I didn't put too many because the syrup comes out uh, rather quickly, honestly. So uh, I put probably, I don't know, 40 or 50 holes. Um, and you can see right here, that's about quarter to half inch. Plenty of room for the bees to get up and under here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is put this on the inner cover and actually, I haven't even physically tested it. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna put it on top of the inner cover and then put a deep super around it. Yeah, that's just fine, actually. Um, but it's, you know, obviously gonna be inverted um, right over the slit of the inner cover to allow for the bees to have access to the syrup. And then I'll put the outer cover on top. So that fits just fine. Um, and again, this is my two to one syrup and ugh, I recently read somewhere, um, I mean, it's kind of, I said this in my last video with the queen image, um, hold on one second, that feeding one to one syrup like you do in the spring, um, stimulates brood production and that makes sense. Um, and feeding two to one helps build up their honey stores and you use less water because it's less water for them to have to process out of the honey. So that's what we're doing. Um, so I'm gonna bring these up. It's raining right now, so I'm just gonna throw it on a couple of hives that don't have queen excluders or extra supers or any random stuff. So I can literally just open the top, put these on, put the extra super on top, and then put the lid on. And these, as you might notice, are from the hives uh, from the restaurant that um, provided the grant for some of my research. Um, and right now we have four of their hives. We had six, but we lost a couple. We had some issues. But they have the cute clouds, but they're not nearly as cute as my bees, right? <laughs> okay, so um, I'm gonna bring the smoker and stuff just in case I need it. Um, but I don't think I will because it's still raining and I want to go fast. Hopefully no one gets cranky and wants to sting. We'll see. Um, maybe I won't bring the stuff. I don't know. It's kind of a hassle. I don't even feel like putting my suit on. Um, because I don't think I'll need it. I would love to do some inspections today and remove the excluders and all of that, but the weather is just not permitting. Um, so, I wanted to show you something that's totally off topic. These hermit crabs, not hermit crabs, horseshoe crabs that I collected in Cape Henlopen in Delaware. They're, they're pretty big actually. This is a little one. Um, it's actually a molting. That's why it's so thin and delicate, even flexible. And this one's a little bit bigger. And I learned that this is the male because he has these kind of little club-like pincers at the top. So a lot of these actually are males. And this one's a male. And then look at this big one. This one is not a male. Look at her pincers. She is huge. Um, just enormous. Gotta love living fossils. So I want to look really quickly since we're feeding everybody. I just want to see um, if they're taking any syrup. Let's check it out. No, they are not. <laughs> awesome. Let's look. Have a look-see. Can you see up there? Oh, that stupid glare. You can't really see, can you? Well, those bees are on the front glass. They're not up in that hole where the jar comes down into. Whatever, that's fine. But look at this big pearly brood here. If they move, maybe you'll be able to see it. Let me get a little closer. Where did I see it? I can't see it through the camera. It's it's right under those bees, I think. Girls. Oh, there's some. Share the camera with the babies. You don't want to? Where is it? Huh. Well, I don't know. I don't know where they are. There's those stupid small hive beetles. They're still there. 
And so, you know, what is it? Are they corralled or are they just, you know, chilling wherever they want to go? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna do this quickly. Ugh, I left this here. You know someone would take that. Um, it's still terrible out. So I don't really have much of an interesting video to make. But maybe the next one will be better. Maybe the next one will be with a new camera. Probably not. Okay, see you later.